Hey, what's going on everybody? POA here. We're going to do a March of the Machines collector battle today. These are a couple of the Core 2021 collector pack prizes. So we're going to kind of hop right into this particular one with no preamble. This is a box battle. We're going to add up the man of... So everybody gets three packs. We're going to add up the mana value of all of their rares and mythics, which also includes any rares or mythics out of the um, multiverse whatever, legends. Whoever has the highest total and whoever has the lowest total is each going to win one of the core 2021 collector packs. So that's the prize at the end of the rainbow. And then whoever, and just in case if there's a tie, that'll be determined based off who has the single highest casting cost mythic. If that doesn't do it, who has the single highest casting cost rare. And if that doesn't do it, we're rolling dice. J.A. Vincent. Daniel. And Fox starts. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. You know, back in the initial run with this product, if you had told me that this set would become fun again, I wouldn't have believed you, but it did. It did. At the tail end of when this came out, I was ready to be done with this set. So, J.A., you're up first. You got the Invasion of Zendikar. Mountain. Zephyr Singer. <clears throat> that is a four. Hey, our first mythic, we got Thalrog. That is an eight in the uh, showcase. Schema Thief from the Commander deck, that's a 12. Inga. Inga. <laughs> one Surge, one Regular Foil. Rona, okay. So you're a 14. And Atris. So you are adding 18 in your first pack with the first Mythic pulled. And it's one that I personally love, Thalrog. All right. Vincent, you're up next. So we're doing this in three rounds, by the way. I'll, I'll cover the score again at the end of each round. Okay, Vincent, let's do this. Ren's Resolve, good common. Great common, really. Surge of Salvation. The Invasion of Maragonda. Invasion of Kaldheim. Okay, that's a four. Battle was a neat addition, in a way. It is kind of clunky, though. So... For casual, I, I think it's kind of fun. Inga Nasika, that is an 8 showcase. Wildfire Awakener, which is actually... Um, this card is a fantastic addition to your Kaisar deck. Just, uh, you know, throwing that out there. That's an 11. Dina. Shanna. Kogla and Yadaro in the showcase. So you are now up to a 17. And Captain Lannery Storm in the Surge Foil. So that is a 20. Okay. All right, this is so Daniel, you're up now. There we go. <laughs> From the generation in which the packs are <laughs> quite sealed. Invasion of Dominaria. Hey, the Ozolith, which is now like a 10 plus dollar card. That is a two. Yeah, yeah, Urabrask in the showcase. The best, well, I, the original Urabrask is still like rather good, but obviously it was like the cheapest. This Urabrask is not the cheapest because it's quite great. This is an awesome pack so far. I don't even know what to put on top. I guess I'll put the Mythic on top so far. It's a six. Excise the Imperfect, solid new commander removal. That's a nine so far. Rona. Rada. And another Ozolith, Daniel, sheesh. That's, that's an 11 so far, holy crap. And then Squee for a 14, but wow. Wow, I mean that's, wow. <laughs> what a pack. <laughs> Okay, I, I feel like I have to put Ozolith on top, but nope, stick to the Mythic. Okay, uh, Doc starts, you're up. All right. <clears throat> Invasion of Kaladesh. One of the best of the floor lands in this particular series. Bloated Processor for a three. Wrinkle and Torbran, 
So you are at an eight. Dance with Calamity and its giant casting cost. So you're up to a 15. Rada. Daxos. Nahiri's Warcrafting. So you're at an 18. And Baral in the... Is that regular foil? Yeah, that's regular foil. Okay. So that is a 20. All right. First round hasn't really decided anything. J.A. is at an 18. Vincent's tied for the high at a 20. Daniel's in the low at a 14. And Fox Starts is tied for the high at a 20. J.A., your next pick. All right. So I didn't want to say it in the beginning of the video. Oops. But of course, we would like to see serialized. That would be great. But the odds out of single boxes are not good. But we will see. Doomscar Warrior. That's a four. A third Ozolith. Sheesh. Come on, focus. There we go. Come on, focus. Stay. Stay focused. There we go. The Ozolith. A third time. So there's six so far. Hey, there's that. That's the best of the commander hits from the, the face commanders. Shalai and Halar, extended art. So you are at a 10. That's a, that's a great hit. Zada. Rona. Fairy Mastermind, extended art foil. Very good. This card got like a fair amount of hate out of people in, in a lot of areas when it was coming out. And, and while I didn't think it was anything to go crazy over, I was like, yeah, I could see that slotting in a lot of decks, but we'll, we'll see. And sure enough, it is, in fact, a good card. That's a 12. And Garuda for an 18. So, J.A., you're at a 36. Hell of a pack. I don't even know what to put on top. You know what? I'm going to put Shalai and Halar on top. Oh, my God. Excuse me a second here, folks. There we go. I don't know what's going on here. All right, Vincent. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pack didn't want to rip, uh, tear or open. It just wanted to rip apart. Okay, gotcha. All right, Vincent. Kogla and Yadaro again. That's a six. Dusk Legion Duelist, okay. That's an 8. Conclave Sledge Captain, so you're up to a 14. Valduk, Rada. Rowan's Talent, sorry, what did I say you were up to? 14, so you're at an 18. And a Traxa! There we go, foil a Traxa. Awesome, 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 awesome. Which, of course, tracks right now is probably the cheapest you could ever get her at. So, well, hold on. What do you have there? 22. So, Vincent, you're at a 42. And awesome hit with the Atraxa. Daniel. Which I had to scoot your cards to the side for a little bit to block out the face. My camera was focusing. All right, let's do this. Kami of Whispered Hopes, awesome uncommon. Especially as plus one, plus one seems to be getting all the support. Hey, Invasion of Ravnica. Okay, that's a mythic. That's a five. The Heary's Warcrafting for an eight. Volpine Harvester, you're at a 12. Dexos. Quende. And Italian foil. Sheesh. This box is cracked. Okay. All right. So I'm going to count that again at the end. And a Karuga. Hold on a second. We got some big casting costs all of a sudden. <clears throat> that is a 24. So Daniel, you're up to a 38 all of a sudden. But with the... Is Atali the biggest hit? Oh, no, or shield right slightly above Atali right now. Either way, because it kind of goes like shield and Atali and then Urabrask. Okay, that, that, that deserves to take the place of the Mythic at the top. Daniel, you're at 38. Fox starts. You're up. 
Let's just, let's just keep the train running here. Let's keep going. Seed of Hope. Fertilid's Favor. Invasion of New Capenna. Oh, that's a, not the card I was thinking of. Begin the Invasion. So it's a... I don't think it was actually in the deck, so it's like a commander set box and uh, command, uh, collector box only. That is a 5. Sunfall. There's a solid hit. Extended Art. That's a 10. It's a Fairy's Talent for a 15. Rev. Finn. Chrome Host Seed Shark. Good card. You're at an 18. In a Mythic? Skittles! Okay, so that is two Mythics so far out of the, uh, whatever you call them, the Multiverse Legends, and we hadn't pulled a uh, Mythic uh, with the Swirlies yet. So that is a 23, I think. Let me double check. 23. So Fox starts, you're at a 43. I just want to stop and say, once again, this is one of those times in life in which everybody's bringing home some juice. That's awesome. Jay, you're in the low right now at a 36. Vincent, you're at a 42. Daniel, you're at a 38. And Fox Darts, you're in the high at a 43. So everybody's pretty close together going in this last pack here. If I can get the thing open, there we go. Without spraying the cards everywhere. All right, Jay, let's do this. Okay, Mimpton. Looks like we have a Invasion of Alara for a five. Heliod, okay, the new Heliod, that's a 9. Deluxe Dragster, you're at a 14. Riff, Renata. Deep Roots Wayfinder, so you're at a 16. And Luris for a 19. You're at a 55 JA. Okay, Vincent. Okay, cut short. Vivian's talent. We did pull a lot of talents in this box. That's a three. Doomscar Warrior, you're at a seven. <laughs> okay, you're at a nine. I think that's all of them, yeah. Yargle. Imati. Well, Darren Thrillseeker, okay. You're get you're going kind of low here. You're going kind of low. Uh what are you at right now? I kind of lost track. You're at a 12. And Gigantha in the swirlies. So that is a 17. What does that mean? I don't know. Hold on a second. I will say one thing about the Halo Foils. They look really cool, but they do tend to curl. They are prone to it. That's a 17. That is a 59, Vincent. Once again, congrats on the Atraxa. Okay, Daniel. Okay, Knight, Swamp, and here we go. Polychronos, that's a three. Progenitor Exarch, you're at a four. Terror of Tawashi, you're at an eight. Yuri, Timeret. Om nom 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 Neth, okay, you're at a 13. All right, what's behind that? And Iara, which has been recovering in price for a 16. That puts you, Daniel, at a 54. Fox starts, you are at a 43. Finished low is a 54. Finished high is a 59. All right. <laughs> Our second Thalrog of the box, that time in the regular pack foil version. That's a four. Transcendent Message for an eight. 
Hedron Detonator. That's a good commander pull. Uh, is that an 11? That's an 11. So you are now tied for the low. Time Rats. Yuri. Mythic. Kroxa and Kunaros. That's a big casting cost. So hold on a second. Where were you at? So you're at a 17. In a Mythic? Kenrith. In, okay, so we didn't get a uh, Halo. Instead, we got a Foil Etched one. And I think that gives you the high, but let me add it up. That is a 22. Yep. Because you had the biggest pack of the round and you already were running the high. So Fox starts. You finished at a 65. So finals totals. We've got JA. Finished at a 55. Vincent, you finished at a 59. Daniel, you finished in the low at a 54. In Fox Starts, you finished at a 65. Daniel, let's do your prize pack. All right. Not too much in there in Core 2021. Chromatic freaking Ori, baby. Stupid, stupid expensive card right now. In the extended art. Sabira. And another mythic. We got Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Magma. Protege. Another mythic. Garrick. Okay. I think that's the second Garrick of the box. Stuart. And then one more rare. Liliana's Standard Bearer. But. Sheesh. What is this thing hanging out right now? Like $30, $35 somewhere in the neighborhood? I might, I might have, that might be old information. I haven't looked in a while, to be honest. Okay, Fox Darts. Oop, what am I doing? It's core 2021. I can, I can skip past those. Temple of Milady. Temple of Milady, okay. Come on, something good. Ah, Ruined Halo. All right, come on, let's get something spicy. Cultivate in the awesome treatment. It's actually still worth money. Chandra's Incinerator. Okay, come on. We can do better. Stuart. And a Stuart. Okay. So overall, though, overall, that was a really nice box of March of the Machines. And, of course, one of the prize packs contained an actually mega hit. Thank you for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Patrons, appreciate you guys still want to do this stuff. I'm glad you enjoy it, and I still enjoy it. And uh, that's going to do it. Till tomorrow. See you.